This little guy. Oh. This is where the computer program is stored. Those floppy disks are the most convenient way of storing or transferring information for a computer. On this? Well, Jennifer, not this big one, obviously. The little floppy disk that I had in my pack is what we use. Well, if this is called a floppy disk, then why is it so hard? I think this is the floppy part inside. That's exactly right. Ah. Uh, yeah, and on one of those little floppies, you can fit on it an entire novel. An entire novel? Ah. Yeah. yeah. And when you put it inside the computer, it reads and uses all the information. So now, wait a minute. The computer reads now, too? Well, Mark, it doesn't really read in English like you or I would. In order for the computer to work as fast as it does, it needs a much simpler language. Yeah, the computer yeah. program yeah. is in the form of an electrical code, okay? And the switches are either on or off. But we can get all the pieces of a language that we might need by putting a whole series of those on and off switches together. Hold out your hands for a minute. Okay. All right, I'm going to put one hand down, one up, one down, one up. We'll put both of yours down, and another one down and one up. What I've done is set a series of switches, and they're either off or on, off or on. Two offs, an off and an on. The four of you together, right now, are coding out the letter Q in computer language. Q? Oh. Yeah, and we just take a whole lot of those code series and develop a language that the computer can use in a very rapid fashion.